ABC News, 8th of May 2023, amid confusion over the police agreement, Australia is accused of undercutting Fiji's resistance to and supporting Chinese subjugation. As speculation grows about whether the Pacific island nation of Fiji would sever its security and law enforcement ties with Beijing, China has accused Australia of attempting to harm its relationship with Fiji. Since Sitaveni Rabuka took office at the end of last year, relations between Beijing and Suva had soured, notably when the new Prime Minister overturned a decision that required Taiwan to change the name of its diplomatic presence in Fiji. The former Prime Minister Frank Bainimarama and Fiji signed a police cooperation agreement in 2011, and Mr Rabuka has often stated that he will revoke it. He has said he wants to limit law enforcement relations to nations with similar systems. It also implied that other countries had tried to purposefully sabotage China's collaboration with Fiji, specifically the United States and Australia. It also implied that other countries had tried to purposefully sabotage China's collaboration with Fiji, specifically the United States and Australia. The Chinese side earnestly hopes that relevant nations will contribute more through practical measures for Fiji and the PICS, Pacific Island countries, instead of only caring and assisting the PICS in escaping the Chinese debt trap. China's special envoy to the Pacific, Qian Bo, echoed that statement and claimed that other parties had interrupted the relationship. He told the Samoa Observer that he was surprised by Fiji's conduct. We have some patience, but there is a goal for us that ensures we address China's primary concerns, he said. While Chinese officials have taken a more assertive stance on the matter, senior Fijian ministries have sent conflicting signals over the special status of the police cooperation deal. Pio Tikajuajua, the minister in charge of the defense forces and police in Fiji, claimed that the deal had already been terminated on Friday and insisted that the government was only reviewing it. He informed reporters in Suva that the contract had not been terminated. Reviewing the security-related agreements between the governments of China and Fiji is vital to us. We are doing it, we are following the procedure. And when questioned about the criticisms of Fiji by the Chinese government, he reiterated that no decisions had been made in stone. I serve as the agreement's line minister. According to him, the prime minister is not free to decide. According to the Home Affairs Minister, Fiji must give China six months' notice to evaluate or terminate the MO. He claimed to have notified the Chinese government earlier this year. The government's intentions on a different 2014 defense pact emphasizing border security and training are likewise unclear. As a result of Mr. Rabuka's decision to decline a meeting with China's Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs, Ma Valkshu, on his visit to Suva last month, diplomatic tensions between China and Fiji have risen. Chinese officials were irritated by this, although the Chinese embassy in Fiji downplayed the incident in a recent statement, saying it respected the Prime Minister's choice. Mr. Rabuka previously revealed to ABC that he had requested Fijian officials look into claims made by David Penuelo, the former president of the Federated States of Micronesia, that he had been trailed by Chinese spies while in Suva. However, the Prime Minister's office has not yet said whether the probe is complete or disclose the findings, 